Kennedy, thank you. This is uh, breaking news right now. New video showing crowds of Afghans back outside the Kabul airport waiting to flee the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. One man said he believes an explosion could occur at any time, although he still took the risk to go to the airport. Now, the deadly attack yesterday killed 13 U.S. service members. President Biden has vowed to hunt down the extremists. Yeah, and Texas lawmakers are reacting to this attack and the Biden administration's handling of the entire evacuation. Kathy Hernandez is live now with all of those details. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning to you. Evacuation efforts continue this morning as President Biden has said we will complete the mission of getting Americans and its allies out of Afghanistan by next Tuesday. The lives we lost today were lives given in the service of liberty, the service of security, and the service of others, in the service of America. President Biden calling the 13 U.S. service members who died heroes while vowing to continue the mission by the next Tuesday deadline of getting Americans and its allies out of Afghanistan. A group called ISIS-K has taken responsibility for the attack at the Kabul airport yesterday. Those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. Local lawmakers are expressing their condolences. We will not be undermined. We will not be deterred. And we will not give up on our mission to be able to save the lives of those American citizens and those Afghan and others who are seeking their freedom. The president is now facing sharp criticism from some Houston area Republicans, including Congressman Troy Nels, who says, quote, Biden has blood on his hands and must be held accountable. Congressman Dan Crenshaw also voiced his outrage. I think pretending like this, this could be a success, like this plan could be salvaged, but that's impossible at the point. The U.S. says further attacks are possible there at the airport ahead of the Tuesday deadline for troops to leave the country. A very sad time around our country this morning. Reporting live, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. All right. Thank you, Kathy.